Hola! In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to get high in the sky. It harkens back to one of the first videos I ever did. So you can start building, whether you're making your own skybox from scratch or you just want to res a prefab one. Now I should point out this technique that I'm going to show you. It used to work. It's broken for some reason right now in this version, this current version of Second Life 2.1. Point one. Don't know why, I've ever filed a bug, but before you used to be able to right click, build, and then right click and sit here, but for some reason, even if I enable the click action, that ain't working. So the sitting is harder than it needs to be. But I do have a workaround. So go to your inventory right here and look for basic chair. Everyone has this in a manner of speaking. It's in the library, which is like stock content. Click and drag this. And now that you've got that, now you can right click and you can sit on it. And not only that, the next step is to click the object tab and set your position somewhere high in the sky, say 2000 meters and hit enter. Be sure you're sitting. So you're gonna wonder where did you go? What happened? You hit escape key twice to reset the camera. Here we are right up here. And from here now, what you can do is you can Click the build button where you can right click and build. If you don't see this, right click here and make sure build button is on build. And then you'll notice if you try to free click around, it doesn't work. So click adjacent to right here. And there's where we have whoop, an object. You can click the arrow if you want to make it positioned exactly. So the base of it, if you prefer metric building as I do build by numbers to 2000, just align it there. And from here, what you can do, you can set the size to be say by 10 by 10, just showing you really quickly. And then you can move the camera. I'm just holding down option or alt on windows like that to move my camera around. You can click your chair, move your chair up again with the camera right here. And now you can click stand because what you have here is a floating platform. From here on, you can continue to res things from your inventory. I'll show you. Say, for instance, you have a box. I just made this box the other day, just a lot of fun. I don't think this was the complete version even. But then you can start resing stuff like that, and it appears, and you can expand your skybox. Do note your coordinates. It's a good idea to go to World and Landmark this place so that if you ever get lost or wonder where was that place in the sky that I was building out, you can get back here really easy. And this just scratches the surface, but it shows you how to get high in the sky in a matter of minutes, if not seconds. So go ahead and play. There are several advantages, of course, that I detail. Be sure to check out wiki.secondlife.com and search for Skybox for more help. This video is part of that because notice that it's very spacious. So performance can be quicker. Your privacy, your privacy may be better as well. And you can have a greater sense of immersion. If you seal a box off and you don't see anything of the outside world, it can be a lovely way to focus and get creative things done or just hang out, chillax with some friends. 